Hi again. Um, I'm a day late doing my update again, so I thought I'd just video one because it's quicker just speaking to the camera than having to think what to say and type it all up and then edit it and check my spelling and everything else because I'm very anal attentive like that. So here I am doing another video entry. I'm quite enjoying doing the video entries actually. So uh, much as I hate looking at myself in video, I think it's doing me good to kind of look at myself and maybe see myself more how other people see me instead of how I see me in my head. Because I think how other people see me is a lot different than how I see myself in my head. Because um, having lost a lot of weight, which I have, I've lost um, over four stones of weight and dropped four or five dress sizes, um, I still see myself in here as the same size I was a year and a half ago. And I'm not. I'm really not. Other people tell me all the time, oh, you've lost loads of weight, oh, you're looking great. But I don't see it myself. So I think doing these videos for a while will maybe force myself to look at myself a bit differently. If I maybe see myself a bit more how other people see me. I know I'm not quite where I want to be yet, but I am getting there. Um, I had another weigh-in yesterday morning. I go on Friday mornings. And... This week I've lost two and a half pounds, which is uh, good, considering last week I put on four pounds. I hate it when I put on weight. When, it's funny, when I put on weight, it spurs me to do better and lose weight the following week. Whereas when I lose weight, I tend to get a bit complacent and then maybe eat things I shouldn't. I remember last week I said I was going to try drinking more water. Uh, which I did. I had hot water and lemon every day uh, at breakfast time and most days I've had some later on as well. Um, I quite like it. I'm going to keep doing it. It means I'm getting at least one or two extra big mugs. I have a good big huge mug that I use. A couple of big mugs of water instead of tea or coffee which is good even if it has got some lemon juice in. I don't use any sweetener in it. I just have it as it is. I quite like it. I like zingy lemony things. Um, so I'm, I'm quite enjoying that. I'm going to keep doing that. Um, apparently hot water and lemon helps boost your metabolism or something. I don't know if there's actually any truth in that, but, uh, hey, it's worth a try. At least it's natural. I'm not taking any pills or anything. I'm just eating and drinking the right things, really. Um, I didn't put the notice on my cupboard door saying don't do it last week. And I wish I had. I had been really good. I went out on the Saturday night and I was very good. I ate well. I chose probably not the best things on the menu for the plan, but certainly better than I maybe would have done before I was doing Slimming World. And I enjoyed the meal and I only had one drink and I didn't pig out afterwards or anything like that. And I was good all week until Thursday night which of course is the night before weigh-in. And I've noticed this actually quite often on a Thursday night. I have a bit of a wig out, a, little, a bit of a kind of meltdown, a chocolate meltdown. I end up gorging myself on all, whatever I can get my hands on, really. Um, and on Thursday night, I had chocolate and I had crisps and I had popcorn and I had about, <laughs> I don't know how many little bags, mini, you know the mini bags of Haribo, you get the little bags. I don't know how many of them I had. I stuffed myself silly and I didn't enjoy it. I even pinched some of my husband's Toblerone, which was very naughty. Now, I love Toblerone, but um, I didn't actually enjoy it. I wasn't enjoying it. I was just picking out for the sake of picking out, which isn't good. Um, so, I mean, I was really glad that I got the two and a half pound loss. It was a good big deal for me because I'm usually a half pound, one pound loss kind of person. So two and a half pound loss was a really good result for me. I'm really pleased with that. But I couldn't help thinking, you know, if I didn't fill myself with two pounds of Haribos, <laughs> I might have been four and a half pounds lighter. I don't know. Um, so this week I have actually um, stuck a big sign on the treat cupboard where I keep the kids' treats. And where I keep my treats as well. I've only got a small section there of things like um, Mikado's. I like Mikado's. They're only half a sin each and they're yummy. I suck all the chocolate off and then I eat the biscuit bit. <laughs> they're yummy. <laughs> really nice. I can make them last longer that way. And only half a cent each. I can have maybe half a dozen. I've only had three cents and I've souped all the chocolate off and eaten the biscuits and I've liked them. Um, but I've put a big sign up. Um, if you look 
below here. I'll put a picture of the sign. I put it on my cupboard door. And I've also put one in my husband's treat drawer to remind me not to go in there and pig out. So um, I'm on plan. I've made a plan. Um, I make a plan every day, usually at least a day in advance, two, three days, sometimes in advance. So I know what I'm having and my meals are always 100% on plan. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, supper, I'm always on plan with them. It's the crap I eat afterwards <laughs> at night when everyone else has gone to bed. So um, I've decided I'm going to try and go to bed a bit earlier as well. I mean, I'm, I'm a very early up in the morning person, but I'm also very late at night to go to bed person. I'm not a morning lark. I'm not a night owl. I'm just some kind of permanently tired pigeon or something. But um, I'm an insomniac. I don't sleep much. A good night for me is maybe four broken hours of sleep. But I decided I'm going to try and go to, to bed a bit earlier because at least if I'm in bed upstairs, I'm less likely to get up and go downstairs to get something to eat um, at two o'clock in the morning, which has got to be a positive, hasn't it? Um, and so hopefully with that combined, combined with the notices to remind me not to give into it, to make me think again, even if it just gives me that second's pause, then hopefully that will help a bit as well. So, um, fingers crossed. Another thing I've done today is um, I'm going to show you a top I have. It's a top that I actually still wear quite regularly. This is it here. This is it just lying out on the bed. Hang up a bit. It's one of those big kind of baggy ones. I wear it quite often and I really shouldn't because it's a size 28. I bought it actually when I had already lost a lot of weight. I was never size 28. I was about size 24 at my biggest. Um, I bought this top when I was an 18. I bought it because it was big and baggy. Um, and I still wear it now even though I'm a 14. Because it's big and baggy and it makes me feel a little and skinny like a pixie. But I think I need to start dressing to my size instead of hiding myself away. And that's another reason why I think I'm going to be doing these videos for a while. Um, and maybe force me not to hide myself away so much. Um... Because I don't like being the centre of attention, which is funny for someone who was an actor for 23 years and is going back on the stage. I know, it's, I am just a great big bundle of contradictions, but <laughs> um, the fact is I don't like people looking at me. I don't like the feeling that people are looking at me. That's why when I'm, when I'm acting, I'm not being me. They're not looking at me, they're looking at the character. Um, but I think if I just start wearing things that are my size, maybe I'll start seeing myself as the size I am. Um, so that's my thought for this week. Uh, I'm going to try hard to stay on plan. I really want to have a loss this week coming. Um, the sharks are due to start swimming next week and I bloat when I'm on my period. So I do usually gain a couple of pounds at least. I've been known to gain anything up to seven pounds purely from bloat, from water retention. But um, I have actually had a few months here and there where I've lost during Shark Week. And I really want this to be one of those ones where I lose weight instead of putting it on. I want it to be something that doesn't stop me from losing the weight. Uh, so I'm really going to just plan ahead, not go over my sins and choose wisely. Well, there will be one or two days out this coming week, but I'm going to take packed lunches with me. And it'll be nice, yummy food that I like. There'll be strawberries and raspberries and maybe some sushi. I love taking sushi with me. I make my own sushi and it's lovely. Um, and that's that. So, um, oh, a well, last thing before I go. I am doing Brave the Shave in a couple of weeks' time. It looks like it'll be the 1st of August. And if you look down below here, uh, you'll see... A link to my Brave the Shave page if you would like to sponsor me I'd be very grateful every penny counts thank you very much see you next week <laughs>